Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Grammarly to Excel in 2023. So join us as we explore the steps to integrate Grammarly writing assistance directly into your Excel workspace. And stay tuned to elevate your proofreading of course and writing skills within Excel. And even making your spreadsheet not only accurate but also uh, elegant with Grammarly. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, just go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow these tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm going to use like Brave Browser and of course in your case, you can open whatever other browser that you could possibly have or even use. If you have many, just choose one and open it. Once you do so, go to the URL section and basically you'll have to type grammarly.com and hit the enter button. So for you, you'll not find yourself on a page like this. I'll just open Ecognito instead. So yeah, you'll not find yourself in something like this. I'll just show you what you'll find if it's your first time. So you'll find yourself basically in a page like this. Of course, if you have an account, go to the top right corner in here and click on login to log into your account or you can get it for free, of course, to create an account. Instead, you can click here on sign up to create a new account or sign up with Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. If you click on sign up, it's free. You'll find an option to sign up with Google, Facebook, or even Apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in into or even creating your accounts. So for me, I'll just go back in here. And as you can see, if we keep scrolling down, like as an example, if you don't know nothing about Grammarly, keep scrolling down. And as you can see, you'll be able to just understand some basics about it. So as you can see, it's an AI a partner to fuel your business. Your business relies on communication, if it is, and like 7,000 teams, etc. Just just not like very important. Of course, if you can scroll down where, uh, it works. As you can see, get suggestions from Grammarly while you're writing desktop applications and sites across the web as you move between apps, social media, documents, messages, and even emails. So emails and messages works with Gmail, uh, Microsoft Outlook, Apple Mail, Slack. As you can see, not just this, you'll find or it will work in even other options. For documents and projects, Google Docs, Microsoft Word, Salesforce, Notion, and for social media, will work on LinkedIn, Facebook, X, Discord, and etc. So once you're done, of course, basically here it just uh, shows you how it works. So for me, I'm not going to do so. Of course, once you like you want, just go and click on sign up with Google or with whatever you want. You can use even Facebook or Apple or even log in into your account. If you have an account, click on I have an account and do so. For me, I'm not going to do so here because I'm already logged in. So once you're logged in into your account, Make sure to go to this list panel, click on apps. Of course, once you, it's the first time like you're creating your account or just logged in into your account, you will you will already like, uh, uh, they will take you through the steps. First thing, they will take you through the steps to install it into your PC uh, as an app or add it as an extension. Of course, here, as you can see, if you didn't install or, or skip those steps, you can go to this list panel, click on apps right here. And as you can see, you'll be able to install it on Windows by clicking in here for me it's already active i can simply click on reinstall if you want to reinstall it and i can install it as extension in here also i can click on reinstall as simple as that so of course if you click on reinstall in here they'll take you into like the extensions of grammarly so you can simply go and click on add it to brave for me i have removed because it's already added and it's the same if i click on reinstall here in windows if you click on it as you can see, I'll have to simply install that. For me, it's already installed, so I'll not do so. So as I said, we would like to connect it or to use this on Excel. So you can use Excel, first of all, on your uh, like uh, browser. If you are going to use this in here. So I'll just go for your online as example, Excel. I don't know if I have an account in here, so let me just go and see, click on sign in. I wish I have an account in this browser. Okay, I don't, but anyway, you basically can use this in here. So you can just open your Excel here and start working on it without any problems. Or you can use it on your app. So just go and open Excel. Once it's opened, of course, click on you. Blank one as example. And here you can start doing your things. For me, Grammarly is not open, so I'll have to go and open Grammarly also. I'll have to wait until it's opened. Of course, you'll find it like uh, opened, like an icon there once it's open. So it will take some time. 
20 to 30 seconds until it's opened. As you can see now, it's opened. There is the icon. You can see it's here, is it? And as you can see, you'll find this right here. So you can go and even start a new document if you want to write inside Grammarly, or you can go to settings to change the settings however you want. So you'll have your customizations. You would like to write in American English, British English. Of course, this will matter. Especially if you have like a better plan because it will like see uh, how you should write and etc. It will give you suggestions on how you should write and etc. So type whatever you want to write with. Detect tone in my writing. Uh, writing style. Launch at startup. Of course, if you want to launch it always when you open your PC. And generative AI. This is of course just for like the premium users. So you can uh, turn it on or turn it off if you, don't if you have a free plan. Whatever you want. Here's your account and here's block list. So... If you click on X, don't worry, it will not close. It will keep there or it will stay there. So here's an example. We'll have to simply start typing. As you can see, at the bottom right corner, you'll find a Grammarly-like icon. You can, of course, take it wherever you want. But it will always go back to in here or in here. So simply for me, I'll just go and start typing. So I'll just type don't. Okay, like Excel already corrected that. So I'll just type don't again that just type that like that and here i'll type uh hello and yeah i guess like that's it so as you can see grammarly in here if i click on that so of course this is just for generative ai as you can see you can like write uh, or tell them to write for you an idea or something like that. This is just for AI th things. If you are going to write a long article, something like that, you can do that. You can even set your voice. As you can see, choose how you want your generated text to sound if you want to. So you can click on and this and uh, generate like your voice or use one of the voice that is in there. So depending on whatever you want. And as an example, so maybe it didn't detect that. So I'll have to write it again. Because like the problem in here that I have, as you can see now, there's one. So if I click on that, as you can see, it will be in there. So I'll have to click on accept. If I don't want to click on dismiss and it'd be basically like this. So sometimes it's not work uh, for me because I have auto correction on Excel and it's already like basically correct everything for me. So for me, I'll just go here and click on X because I showed you how to use it on Excel. Other than that, of course, if you want to get like a better plan, premium plan this will be even much better especially if you're using this too much as you can see this will go with this one of their plans as you can see one of their plans comes with those features so if you click on get started you'll see like the price an example this is for uh premium this is for business example and you'll be good to go so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video